With all of the layoffs going on in the tech industry, you may be wondering, is it too late to start my career in cybersecurity and tech? Is it even possible or should I wait this out for another five to 10 years? Do I have to go through tons and tons of degrees and certifications? According to a poll that I did, over 50% of you have doubt that you'll ever be able to start a, a career in cybersecurity because you don't have tons and tons of experience. If you're in doubt, if you'll ever break into cybersecurity, then this video is for you. I'm going to be going over the core skills that you need to get into cybersecurity. I'll be going over the state of AI and how it affects you as someone entering the field and wanting to get into the cybersecurity and IT field. And three, I'm gonna go over the easiest place for you to start your career in 2024 and beyond when the job market is flooded with people that are from Google and big tech, making the competition extremely high. Some core skills that you're going to need if you're wanting to work in cybersecurity, I made this graph, is you're gonna need the foundations. Now you're gonna need the foundations of IT, but you're also gonna need the foundations of cybersecurity. And so as you can see, you can start out with the Google certificates for this to give you a solid foundation. Now I've been through both of these. While they're great foundation, you may need to add a little bit more such as hands-on projects. Now that is when you're gonna to need to go a little bit deeper into operating systems, networking, cloud, and then also more importantly, get hands-on projects and real world experience that shows that you have these skills. This is the part that everybody misses and if you do it, you're gonna be way, way ahead of people. Why am I saying these specific skills? The cloud is taking over and I would say probably half of the jobs that I look at all have some type of cloud, whether that's AWS Azure, sometimes even GCP. If you are able to learn the cloud, you're gonna be ahead of a lot of people who actually work in IT. They just don't know what the cloud is and so you can bypass. The next is computer networking. This is a neglected skill by a lot of IT professionals, but it is pretty important and you still need to know the basics of say how the internet works. If you can understand how the internet works, you have a pretty good grasp of networking. The next important skill is operating systems. So operating systems, the two biggest ones being Linux and Windows, and then just knowing the difference between each one of these and how you would troubleshoot and find anomalies in these. The next aspect is you're really gonna want to do hands-on projects. And then once you do hands-on projects, after you get this core, I would say start applying to jobs. Now at the end, I'll go over the best resource that you can use to gain hands-on projects, experience with the cloud, experience with networking, and also operating systems all in one place at the end of the video. Another thing that a lot of people bring up is what about AI and how does it affect me getting that first role in cybersecurity and tech? Is it going to automate all of the jobs? Here's the thing that almost nobody says. All of those jobs that are being automated and everyone being laid off, all of those are software development jobs. It's actually never been a better time to get into cybersecurity and IT. While you may hear about all of these tech layoffs, if you look a little bit closer, they're mostly for software development teams. There's an entirely other side of tech and that is infrastructure. Now infrastructure is the backbone of how all of these services run. Think of it as like the construction workers for the roads, the plumbers, the maintenance people for the houses and the electrical grids. Now get rid of those people and basically you just have chaos, right? So that is the infrastructure for basically the internet. And the thing is you don't need to know code to get into this one specific job at, that, at the end of the video. 
How do I know all of this? I've mostly worked in infrastructure and I predict that infrastructure in the future is going to blow up. The reason being is that while AI is going to automate a lot of software development roles, the need for infrastructure for AI is going to grow extremely rapidly and not many people know or know about even what infrastructure is. They just think tech, they think software development, there's a whole other side that pays just as much and a little bit more relaxed and is going to grow incredibly fast and they're not gonna have enough workers to fill these jobs. Now, if we go back and reference the cybersecurity skill, skill stack, you're gonna see that you can actually apply to roles before you gain that extra cybersecurity skill. This is fantastic if you're really hating your current job and you really just want to get out of where you are. And so that leads me like to the next aspect. How, what is the easiest way you can start your career in the next infrastructure boom? The easiest place to start your career is IT support. If you look at anybody's background, despite what they may say, it's where most people started out in IT support, especially people that didn't have a degree. Now, while there are entry level roles in cybersecurity, oftentimes people with degrees get these roles. And so everyone else starts at IT support because it is the path of least resistance and it is the easiest just to get started. And sometimes you just need to get started. The best resource that I have found for IT support and landing a role really quickly without going through tons of degrees and certifications is course careers. And this is honestly the course that I wish I had when I started my IT career 10 years ago. It probably could have saved me a lot of headache and time. If we look at my cybersecurity skill stack, you're gonna notice that I say you need cloud, networking, operating systems, and hands-on projects. This course careers IT support is extremely unique in the fact that it teaches you all of those things by actually going through and building a project. So it includes those projects and hands-on projects to build real world experience that you're probably lacking and teaches you operating system basics, how the internet works, so networking, how cloud is and how it prepares you for an entry level role and you can start really quickly. Some other things that I absolutely love about this IT support by Course Careers is that everything is taught for a specific skill and purpose. There's nothing just put in there because you're just learning for fun. You're just learning so you can land that job as quickly as possible. On top of that, they also have mentorship with industry professionals. So if you don't have that network, you don't know anyone in the field or how any of that works, this is a great place to start. And I've been through the course and some of the things that is taught in the, the Course Careers IT Support Certificate Program is the fact is that I have actually been paid six figures to do. It can also prepare you for a system administrator role, a cloud support role, or even a network admin role. And on top of that, the best thing, you can get started for free. I do have a link below that you can use to sign up and learn exactly how you can start your IT and cybersecurity career as soon as possible without any previous experience or degree. And on top of that, the first 20 people who sign up, go through the entire course and send me their portfolio will get a free 30 minute consultation with me. Now this is only for the first 20 people and that will definitely go fast. Click that link below in the description and get started on your IT career today. See you later, bye.